this particular power series encodes the sequence. It encodes the sequence. One is the first term. Okay, that's the A0. What's the coefficient of x in this? There's no coefficient of x, so it's a zero. Uh, what's the coefficient of x squared? Well, the coefficient of x squared here is a one. What's the coefficient of x cubed? Well, there's no x cubed in here, so it's a zero. What's the coefficient of x to the four? Well, the coefficient of x to the four is a one. There's no x to the five, so it's a zero. The x to the six, its coefficient is a one and so on. So what we can actually see here is that this particular power series encodes this particular alternating sequence between ones and zeros. So one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, and so on, which gives us what's associated with that its generating function is, well, its generating function is one over one minus one minus x squared, okay? Now, what I'm really interested in as well is just let's have a let's let's play around with some power series and let's see let's do the substitutions and let's see what happens yeah so let's take another power series that we had earlier on let's take a power series where for example that we have uh, we said we had the power series associated so we've considered let's say the following power series uh, the power series that we had was one plus uh, 1 plus uh, 2x plus 3x squared plus 4x cubed and so on and so forth. This power series had a generating function. Its generating function was 1 over 1 minus x squared. Okay, And we said that this power series generated the sequence. Okay, That this power series encodes the sequence. Well, it encodes the sequence 1 coefficient of an x is a 2, the coefficient of the x squared is a 3, the coefficient of the x cubed is a 4. So it encodes basically the natural numbers. Okay? So let's see what happens to this when we substitute for x squared. So let's say let x equal x squared and let's see what happens. So we're going to take the original power series and we're going to substitute an x squared and we're going to see what sequence is associated with that particular with that particular with that particular uh, power series. So taking this and substituting in x squared, we end up with, it's simply a one plus, it's two times an x, but the x becomes x squared. So it's effectively two times x squared, okay? Plus the next term is three times x squared. Now don't forget the x becomes an x squared. So it's three times x squared to be squared, which is three times x to the four, plus the next term is four, times x cubed, now the x becomes an x squared. So it's x squared goes in for the x, which needs to be cubed. Just recall that a to the power of b is to the power of c is the same as a to the power of bc. So x squared cubed, which is what I'm doing, I'm substituting in here for the x squared is the same as x to the power of two times three, which is the same as x to the power of six. So this becomes four x to the power of six plus dot dot dot, which must be equal to the generating function with this substitution. So this gen the, the function that generates this particular power series would be this generating function also with the substitution that x becomes x squared. So it's this power series generating function is one over one minus the x becomes x squared. So it's one minus x squared all to be squared. And let's see what sequence does this represent, okay? Well, you can see that the sequence that's encoded in this particular power series, okay? It's first term, the x to the zero is a one. Where's the x term? Don't forget, we're looking at, we're looking at the general form of a power series, the x zero we're taking out, the coefficient of an x zero. Then we're gonna take out the coefficient of an x one, the x squared term, we take out its coefficient, the x cubed term. And if these terms aren't present in the power series, we take out it basically effectively the coefficient must be zero. So what we have here is that there's no x term, so we put down a zero. The coefficient of the x squared term is a two. There's no x cubed term, so it's a zero. The coefficient of the x4 term is a three. There's no x5 term, x to the five term, so it's a zero. The coefficient of the x6 is a four and it's dot 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 so effectively what we've shown now is this is that this particular sequence here this sequence here okay is associated with this particular power series and its generating function is now this particular generating function this particular generating function here 
Okay. 